Hey guys, so I repurchased some old favorites and I'm going to get ready today and show you what they are and I'm trying to determine whether or not I still love them the way I used to when I had them years ago. And I have a couple new things too to show you. So in order for this video not to be insanely long, I did already use my Wet and Wild lip treatment. And then for our primer, I went back to the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I'm just trying to decide whether I like this or the Liquid Poreless Putty Primer better. Um, they both have different properties about them, so I use this instead of that. And then I did still use my Lottie London um, under eye brightening corrector because this is amazing. But then for concealer, I went back to using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser in number 110 instead of using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is completely different than that concealer and they both have good things about them. So I'm trying to decide which one I like better between those two. So I'm going to um, powder my face with the Milani Conceal and Perfect uh, Blurring Powder in Translucent. So I didn't buy a new powder. I love this. I cannot imagine anything better than that. So yeah, I started thinking about some of the products that I used to use before. And I was wondering if I use those instead of what I've been using, if I would still love them. And I, I would imagine that some of you have some of the products that I'm going to use in your collection as well. All right, so face is set. Now, for a contour, you know that I've been using the L'Oreal Infallible Bronzer in Fair. Well, this is what I used to use for years, the Wet n' Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Dulce de Leche. And this is the brush that I use to contour my face. This is a Real Techniques brush. So let's let's use this and see. Now, I think the reason why I like the L'Oreal one better is because it's cooler in tone, but let's try this. Yeah, see, that's quite a bit warmer. But for the look that I'm gonna do today, warmer might work out better because I'm gonna use um, warm, eye and lip products. So that might look better. So I initially apply it with the brush like this and then I turn it to blend it in. I'm not going to use the highlighter in that palette though because I have something else I'm going to show you. All right, next for bronzer, I'm not going to use my hard candy bronzer that I love so much. I'm going to use something that I always used to use back in the day. Crystal, you were talking about this the other day. Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and this is in the shade Bronzer. You got to sniff it because it smells like coconut. Okay, I'm going to use this um, powder brush from Moda. Now, if I'm if I do warm eyeshadows and lip products, I like to bronze my whole face, or at least you know first I do the perimeter, and then what I like to do is I like to do the cheek area too. 
because it just ties everything in. This gives you um, a warm glow, I would say. Now for a blush, I used to have these in every color. I love these. Uh, the Elf Monochromatic Multi Stick in Dazzling Peony. These are hard to find though. You can either get them on the Elf website or they are at select Target stores. Uh, they're very hard to find in store and they're also hard to find on the shelf. I had a wicked time. I knew exactly which Target I needed to go to, but just trying to even see it on the shelf was tough. But these are, um, they're multi-sticks, so you can use them on the eyes, cheeks, and lips, but I really only like them as blush because if you use this on your lips, it's so huge that it's hard to get like a precise application, so you have to use the lip brush, which is a pain in the neck. Um, and on the eyes, I'm not really a fan of cream products on the eyes unless it's as a primer, but as a blush, this is beautiful. I'm going to use this. MAC uh, 130 brush and what I do is I put some on the brush that way and then just buff it in but it's this beautiful natural blush of color that is just so pretty and when you go out in the sun it, there's like a there's no glitter, but it just gives you like this luminous glow. And on top of the bronzer, I think it works well. So yeah, this is um, Dazzling Peony is the shade. Okay, now for a highlighter, I repurchased the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. And I got the shade Fair. I was really torn between Fair and Light, but when it comes to highlighters, for me, lighter is better. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger and then dab it across the top of my cheekbones and blend it in with a brush. This is just a Wet n Wild brush that came in a limited edition collection many years ago. So I think fair is the right choice for my skin. Okay, now next I'm going to prime my eyes with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I was at a Target that had an Ulta in it. You've seen those, right? And I was walking by and I just looked over. Well, that was my first mistake because I used to love Urban Decay back in the day, but I stopped buying them because, you know, expensive. But now they have the Naked Mini palettes and I ended up getting the Urban Decay Naked 3 mini palette. I used to have a lot of Urban Decay palettes, the full-size ones, but at some point, yeah, I just decided not to purchase expensive makeup anymore cuz I don't feel I don't feel like it's worth it, you know, for what I spent to buy this, I could have gotten so many more drugstore products. So, it was a moment of weakness. But yeah, you won't see me buying anything expensive anytime soon. But I was really mad because when I got home and opened this, 
someone had swatched it. Somebody opened it in the store and swatched it. So I had driven quite a ways to get to this particular target, so I couldn't return it. So I sanitized it. So if it looks a little beat up, it's because I had to sanitize it. So what I did was I take a cotton pad with isopropyl alcohol and just press it on top of the shadows because I don't know what germs somebody had on their hands, you know. So it looks like it doesn't look brand new because of me having done that, but at least I know that it's safe to use now. Okay, so the shades are glassy, public, laced up, stolen, right time, and spiced. And uh, some of those names don't even sound familiar from when I had the Naked 3 palette. So I'm going to go in with Stolen first. So I'm going to take the shader brush and go into Stolen. I'm going to put that on the lids. Now, how would you describe this? Like a rosy beige, I guess. Yeah, the, the theme with Naked 3 was rose gold, was the color scheme. All right, now, before we go any further, I also repurchased this that I had a long time ago. This is the e.l.f. No Budge Shadow Stick in the shade Perfect Pearl. And it looks like this, and it's just like a shimmery beige color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on my brow bone as my brow bone highlight. And I'm going to blend it in with my finger. Yeah, this is really pretty and works well for that. And I'm going to do inner corner highlight. And just blend that a little bit. And this is really pretty for that. Sometimes cream shadow for brow bone highlight can really be prettier than a powder. Okay, now I'm going to take this angled crease brush and we're going to go into laced up. And we're going to put that in the crease. And with that same brush, I'm going to go into Right Time and pick up a little bit of that. And we're just going to do the outer part of this eye area. Okay, now I'm going to use a small pencil brush and go back into right time. And I'm going to drag a little bit of that along the lower lash line. So 
This is a really pretty color. As it's like a taupe. It's a matte taupe. Okay, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brush and go into glassy and just see what happens when I dust a little bit of that over that pearl color that I used. Oh, pretty. Okay, so that by putting that cream down first, that's just going to enhance this. And let's do the inner corners too. Okay, now, in yesterday's video, I used the NYX Retractable Eyeliner in black, and I did really like that. So let's put that in the waterline. All right, I'm going to curl my lashes off camera because if you do it right, it's pretty time consuming. Okay, I also did my brows because watching somebody do their brows is so boring because it takes so long to do. But starting yesterday, I went back to using my e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in the shade Cool Brown. And... Uh, I remembered how much I loved this pencil. So this, I think, is better than what I had been using, which was the LA Girl Brow Gel. I think that brow gel, the tone of it was not right for my brows. Okay, so lashes are curled. Now for mascara, instead of using my beloved Lottie London mascara, I repurchased the Essence Lash Princess. I used to swear by this. Um, what I find interesting is Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. The name of the Lottie London one that I've been using for a while now is Lottie London Super Fake False Lash Effect Mascara. So let's see how this compares to the Lottie London. The brush on this is a little bit bigger. I have a feeling they're going to be very similar. I know one thing, this is a lot easier to find than the Lottie London because you can get the essence at Target, Ulta. I think that's it, Target and Ulta. The Lottie London is only at select Walmarts. CVS was supposed to start carrying Lottie London, but so far all I've seen is the um, limited edition Halloween collection that I bought there, the um, Vampire Diaries one. Oh, by the way, I started watching Vampire Diaries. I love it. I can't believe that I never saw that show before when it was popular because I love vampire-themed books, movies, and TV shows. 
and Anne Rice, The Vampire Chronicles, were some of my all-time favorite books back in the day. I read so many of her books. I can't believe she's gone. Yeah, she was one of my favorite authors. So I'm loving The Vampire Diaries and Eight Seasons. Wow. We're already on um, season two. I watch it on Peacock. I actually have Peacock for free because I've been a Comcast customer for so many years that I get it for free. In their rewards um, program, if you have been a customer for a certain number of years, that makes you a platinum member, and you get a lot of cool perks with that. And the Peacock Flex device and service is one of the things that you get for free. Okay, yeah, this is very, very similar to the Lottie London. Um, I see some slight differences, but I um, I think the effect that it gives and the way it applies and everything, it seems to be quite similar. So do really still enjoy this. Okay, now on my lips, I picked up, I said I had a couple new things. Well, there were three new things, right? Because the Urban Decay Naked 3 Mini Palette. I had the full size before, but never the mini, but that shouldn't make any difference. But the next and last two products I'm going to use, I've never had before. This is the NYX Slim Lip Pencil in the shade Espresso, which is a deep brown. I am going to line my lips with this. Let's use the... Let's use the magnifier side for this. And I'm just going lightly because it is a dark brown shade. Now for lipstick, this is a very popular lipstick because I had a tough time uh, getting it. it. A lot of uh, the stores that I went to, this slot was just empty. So some of you may already know about this and love it, but I have never had this before. Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in 535 Rum Raisin. And what it is is a brown toned new, um, I'm sorry, red, brown toned red. But the formula on these lipsticks is so nice, but Revlon is kind of disappearing. Ulta doesn't even carry Revlon anymore. But I found this at Target, but you can also get Revlon, of course, at any at Walmart or any drugstore. Oh, that's beautiful. And this is a cream finish. Now, how many lipsticks can you do that with? Just go over it and over it and over it and slowly build it and not have it look bad and mash your lips together like that. 
Oh, that is gorgeous. And how perfect is this sweater with this color? I'm going to swatch this so you can see. So that is Revlon Rum Raisin. And now I get it. I know why. This is hard to find. Um, that's beautiful. You know, sometimes we get so caught up in all the new stuff that we forget about how great some of the old stuff is. And it would be really sad if Revlon went out of business because they've been around forever and they do have some great products. Um, especially their lipsticks. Their lipsticks come in so many different colors and formulas. And the fact that they are not at Ulta anymore tells me that, you know, sales are not good. So yeah, let's not allow these companies that have been around forever to go out of business and make some purchases from them once in a while. I'm a fan. I don't know what it is lately. I've been really into um, red lipsticks because I've never been into red lipsticks before. So this is a new thing with me. So that is it for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that revisiting old products. And um, thanks for watching and subscribing. Give this a thumbs up if you like revisiting old products. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.